the University of Nebraska at Omaha, and Tales from the Basement presents Taxi Cab, a short horror story written, produced. caseworker. My name is irrelevant, though I am a detective like you should be. A detective that has been stuck working the basement archives. But regardless, I, like you, have been put down here for numerous reasons. Perhaps you talked back too much. Maybe you had some objections to certain esoteric policies. Maybe you just like the smell of cobwebs and paper from the 1900s. Who cares? I am here to make your job a bit easier, and that's what matters. This archive that you're sitting in now has not been taken care of. Its previous caretaker died in 1974, and until today, there hasn't been a single one. So anytime there's a case file that can't be solved, some schmuck tosses it into one of the many unlabeled filing cabinets down here. Do that for three decades, and it results in a very disorganized library. So I am recording all of this for future caseworkers' benefits. Even brought my own tape recorder from home. Anyways, enough introductions. First case file. Ha. Huh. Civilian report. I am scared of cars. I want to get that out there first, because I think I am being targeted by someone who knows this and is trying to hurt me. I think this started in my folks died in an accident, my folks with, the died in an accident with the bus just out of uh, I was, when I was just out of primary school. Not not the stalking, my fear of cars. It's, it's, it's important, I swear. Because a year ago, I was in an accident. I was taking this taxi cab, a big yellow one. There was a meeting for work I needed to attend that was in a separate building from the firm, and I couldn't just walk. I wish I just took the grilling from my boss. I was the only survivor. It was a three, four car pile up. God, I still remember the smell of gasoline. I. I it's weird, because I, I, I don't even remember being pulled from the wreckage. I, I don't even remember being at the hospital. Just all of that crunched metal and blood and gas. Burnt rubber. Uh, either way, I had broken my leg and suffered a nasty concussion. I couldn't work, but my boss, empath that he was, understood why I couldn't come in and assured me that my position would not be in jeopardy during my recovery. I think he, uh, I think he blamed himself. That doesn't matter. The point is, I was at home when I saw it. There's a, a, a window where I was sitting, a, a couch right by the front door that the sun hits just right. It was about three or four weeks into my recovery. I had just taken my medicine when it passed by the window. A, a bright yellow taxi cab drove past my house. At first, I, I didn't care. It was just a cab. It probably got called to pick up one of the elderly people in my neighborhood. Then it passed again the next day. Still, I didn't think much of it. Maybe it was another person. Thing is, I started paying attention. It was the exact same cab as the day before. Same numbers on its side, same scratch on the rear corner, everything. I started keeping a record of when it would come on a notepad. I mean, I didn't really have much else to do, aside from listen to the radio. Seventeen days, it went by my house at exactly 
1.13 in the afternoon. I think someone is stalking my house. Stalking me. I, I only got here today so I could write this report because I asked the guy next door and he saw it too. I, they, they drove me here. I, I and, and they can confirm everything I've said. I am sound mind and body. I saw this creep driving by my house every day at the exact same time. I don't know what kind of freak wants to torture me like this, but I want it to stop. I can't take any! Well, it seems the other part of this report has been misplaced. Though, I remember being told about this one. Psycho came into the station rambling about a taxicab stalking him in his neighborhood. I'm told he was given a bogus talk about how we'd look into it. We didn't, obviously. As later, the guy came in with a confession. He confessed to murdering and cannibalizing the family of four that lived next to him. I'll find the rest of the statement. End recording. This has been a Tales from the Basement production. Thank you for listening, and tune in next week for the conclusion of this story. Driver. <laughs>